Alrighty, old gatekeeper here. Alright, I'm going to do something I haven't uh, done before specifically. We're going to turn this uh, Texas Star 667 into a sleeper. Gatekeeper built sleeper. And uh, we're going to do something a little neat with these fans too. I got it all visioned up in my head, so we're going to see if we can't make this work. Definition of a sleeper. It looks exactly the way it's supposed to on the outside until you pop the top. So here we go. Alrighty. Getting the boards off. Uh, I had this spare assembly laying around. Actually, I took the... Uh, the covers and the uh, lamps out of that one uh, the board over there and put it in this one okay so I'm pretty much going to emulate these as working as normal meaning you can turn that on you can turn that on this won't turn on unless the power's on uh, the delay can go on when the preamp's on Hey, take a star pretty genius, man. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if you're working on preamp barefoot, but you're on sideband, you're going to need a delay. You know what I'm saying? So, that's the way all that works out. But these are just going to be for lights, except the power button to turn the amp on and off. All right. On to the next. we got to do some cutting next. I'll be back. Alrighty, got the old, uh, got the pill holes all traced out and drilled so I can get them, uh, popped out there and, uh, give a shout out to Mr. Tech Nine over at Tech Nine Technology. I took your advice, my, my man. He used some of these, uh, self tapping four, number fours, man, on this, man. It made it a lot easier. I didn't have to, uh, just use a little bit of my oil here, man. Dribble four holes here, and these will be holding this board and the frame down to the heat sink, and then the pills will hold kind of the center of it down. But uh, yeah, man, it made it faster. It took away one process of uh, tapping. Although I am a big fan, sorry about that. I'm, I'm a big fan of the socket type uh, machine screws or whatever. Real big fan of them. They're blurry for some reason. So. Uh, I am going to be on a journey to find number four, number four socket head self-tapping screws. Number four dash thirty-two socket head self-tapping screws. I think the uh, length of them is a quarter quarter inch. I think I can't quite remember off my hand, but uh. Hey, if anybody knows where to get them, let me know. I'll go ahead and pick up about a thousand of them. And shoot, that will make my life a lot easier. Oh, gatekeeper, we're on to the next. Alrighty, let's get these peel holes cut out. I learned with the last video, I gotta do this with two hands. So I'll be back. Now I know I got me two GoPros. I need to put them in use. Yeah, 
I love sucking up this vanilla dust. Look at that. Doggy. <laughs> Get these bad boys uh, dribbled out, get it smoothed out a little bit, and uh, we'll get this bad boy mounted and get these peel holes drilled. Old gatekeeper said it. We'll be back. All right, getting these uh, holes drilled for the four pills. I'm listening to my own videos, y'all. I know, I'm a weirdo. I'm listening to that Skywalker video I just up uploaded. I like to listen to at least every video I do at least one time. This heat sink in, man, and give it a good, uh, give it a good washing before we get everything glued down. All righty, getting the holes threaded right now. I was uh, going to attempt to use a self-threading screw to kind of just thread the holes for me real quick. And I used a little bit longer one the, while I was doing it. The uh, head broke off pretty quickly. Probably because it was too long, too much resistance on it, but I'm just going to go ahead and go on with this right here and just get them tapped real quick. And, uh, yeah, so we get this done right here and we'll get, him, get his heat sink washed and board washed and get it glued tomorrow morning. We'll be back. All right, I got them all tapped. And uh, I'll tell you one thing I've noticed. See, some people will just go ahead and mount the peels down, but after you drill your holes and then tap them, you'll notice you're going to have some burrs. And you want this transistor to sit as flat as it literally possibly can on this heat sink. And these burrs would keep the ends of the peel from, you know, being absolutely perfectly flat. So... I always make sure to get rid of them burrs by just using just a simple step bit like this. Just real lightly. Like that. Now that 
transistor will sit flat. I kind of tested it out with the Dremel bit I had right here. So I was going to do that. Kind of like a, a exactly what a Mr. Tech 9 does. Uh, Tech 9 technology. But I don't have the right bit that I need because I can feel this and it's not, you know, perfectly flat. It's kind of rigid now. I don't want really to really trust that because that transistor needs to be absolutely flat. I'd have to get me a little finer finer uh, Dremel bit so I can smooth the uh, anodate. I don't know what that's called. Anodize, anodation, or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, alright man, we're going to get these things washed. Alrighty. We're going to get this uh, copper here washed and get this coating off here. That SOS pad. Get water good and warm. And I do need two hands to do this, but there we go. You get the idea. We'll be back with the finished product. And washing it, getting it all nice and clean. Alrighty, take a look at that shine now. Dog, yeah. <laughs> I know I sound like a dang uh, old country boy, don't I? Well, I do live down here in Georgia, don't I? All right, man, we're gonna place that thing right in there just like that. And get this thing mounted down. And uh, get all this uh, glued on, hot strip, get the relay. We're going to put you a little blue LED in that relay. It's got an LED in there. But I'm just going to mount this down real quick. I'm going to go hit the sack, man. I'm good and gone. No gatekeeper said that. Alrighty. I was running out of time, y'all, because I got to head out here in about four hours to go on vacation. I don't know how I'm going to get all this done, but... Whew, here she is. I don't know how I did this in one night, but I did. I'm about to go hook this bad boy up and tune her out. Mic her in. As you see, the buttons are working just as a Texas Star would. the lights and everything hadn't figured out what I'm gonna do about this right here I may just leave it blank I have to wait and see how much time I got he pretty much told me I can do whatever I want to with that and anyway here you go big brother black and blue theme like you asked took a look bad to the bone man I ain't gonna have time to clean up no flux or nothing but hey I'm gonna get this thing ready for the shootout for you man I <laughs> I put all I all I've been able to in this thing. All right, big brother, we'll get this thing tuned out. All right, my man, here we go. <clears throat> Due to uh, time constraints, I got about two hours to do about four hours of work. After this, that is a cigarette, by the way, buddy. This amp couldn't turn down any better. This thing is smoking, man. This thing is smoking. It, it turned out great. Basically, uh, this anonymous uh, fella right here is going to be using this for a shootout. And he wanted a sleeper. He wanted a Texas Star from the front with the top on. You would have no idea that it was a uh, Class C homebrew gatekeeper built 400, GK400, 42879, Red Dot Toshiba's. <clears throat> and he wanted to stay anonymous so that's how we're going to keep it alright he sent this silver eagle to use as a driver and uh, it needed just a few things not, not much I had to replace the 47 ohm resistor right here it was about close to being blown soldered up the transistors a little better it looked a little cold and I took that trimmer off and, and mic'd that in with that cap right there 
And uh, that's about it. Off about all I really needed to do to it, man. So, and your question to me was, is are you sure these 455s are going to be enough to drive this amplifier? And I told you, uh, yeah, you're going to have no problem, and uh, you will see that now, my friend. <laughs> all right, we got the four watt radio bench radio hooked up. The uh, sleeper. Is hooked up to the 100 amp not, uh, unregulated supply. The driver is hooked up to the servo supply regulated. Let's turn that voltage down to 14.5. There we go. 14.5 on the driver. All right. I'm going to turn the driver off and just turn the uh, Texas Star on and let me, I got the flash on, I'm going to turn this off right here. The buttons work exactly, we're talking about light wise, you don't, none of the functions are functional, just the buttons itself work exactly the way a Texas Star would normally work. I had to cut that off another board and pretty much manipulate some of the circuitry on the bottom side of it to to make it e easy enough for me to where all I gotta do is feed power to two locations to it and it's grounded through the actual bolts here to the to the case frame. There's your power, okay. Preamp turns on with the power off, the light, and the delay will be able to as well as you see. That's the way a regular Texas Star is. Alright, turn the power back off. That light doesn't come on unless the power's on. And there's all of them. Booyah. I have put the four new bulbs in there. And uh, these came off uh, the unit that I pulled out of here, the lenses. Alright. Just hitting the uh, four pill with a four watt radio. This is what we're getting from it. Thousand watt slug. Uh, well, let me turn it on, y'all. Sorry about that. I have not been to sleep yet tonight. You don't have to bear with me on this video. 1,000 watt slug or a mess. About 110 watts. Peak. Good. Good. Yeah, about 450, 440. 450, 460, I mean. Check out this relay, man. Oh, yeah. Hit that thing lit up blue for you, big brother. Now, I know you told me this meter was optional. Brother, I just flat out didn't have no time to do a little circuit. I told you I was thinking about doing for this meter. So, we're just going to not hook that up. And also, your fan kit. I have no time, brother. What I'll have to do for your fan kit, my man, is, uh, is pretty much when I get back from vacation... Uh, make it and send it to you man the fan kit's gonna fit up under the box it's gonna have four feet on it two blue fans so that the box is gonna sit upright just like this right here and it's gonna have two fans beating on this heat sink and it's still gonna be able to sit up right there right this and i'm thinking about maybe producing those and selling them all right here we go you gotta hurry up 455 box silver eagle on driving into the four transistor amp we're on the medium tap still i should switch it over to high but anyway this is on the medium tap Ooh, look at that look at that man already about 360 375 rms what you think man on the bench radio baby Ooh, yeah <laughs> peak do about 950. I don't know if you can see this voltage drop. 13.8 volts. Flip it over to high tap. It's been a while since I've seen the four pill uh, operate this good, man. Looks like we're gonna hit the 400 bird without even hooking up the hot radio. All right, we're just on the high tap now, man. Let's see if we can't get 400 RMS out of it. Ooh. Well, that's peak again. We know it's going to do over a thousand. Ooh, yeah. Almost. Ooh. There it is, man. 
400 watts RMS on the bench radio, big brother. We ain't even got the hot radio hooked up. Now, what was your question again? Is the Silver Eagle going to drive this box? Uh, I think so. <laughs> Good God the money. Thousand watts in the corner. All right, I'm going to hook up the hot radio just for the fun of it. We'll be back. All right, one thing I just thought about, I didn't even show what the driver was doing. I'm well, sorry about that. I'm trying to get this done so quick, but the driver's pretty much driving about 140 watts peak, and it was doing close to about, I think, 70 bird, somewhere around there, 70, 75 bird. All right, here's the hot radio, 8 watts RMS driving into the driver which is then for driving to the GK400 sleeper. 1,000 watt slug, RMS. High tap, 100 amp supply, unregulated. 500 watts, big brother, RMS. Ooh, and that is dropping the 15.3 volts. Good working voltage. This cotton picker is smoking, son. Smoking. Mm -hmm. 530 watts RMS. Woo! That makes me a little happy right there. Sleep deprived and happy at the same time. Good God. Let's see how much this thing's peaking real quick. Where's my 5KW slug? Where's my 5KW slug? There it is. Alright, we're going to be reading the middle scale. I just want to see real quick what this thing's peaking real quick. 5,000 watt slug. Reading the middle scale. 20's 2,000. 10's 1,000. Well, that's all right, man. Let me get back to peak. Alright, peak. You're right there at 1,100 watts plus, man. 1,100 watts plus. 15.4 volts. This thing's smoking, big brother. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't be able to take the trophy home with this in the full pill class, man, if you dig your voltage just right. This is class C. If you, if you, if you have to go to 20 volts, you can. Do what you gotta do, man. Bring home that trophy. My anonymous new friend. Out of the sand pile, old gatekeeper out here around the northeast end. I gotta get ready to go over to uh, the sand pile for vacation. We'll be making the video in a bit. I got something else. Bye bye.